Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making a vacuum powered pistol. Now the idea for this video uh, came about because I just bought this vacuum pump and brake bleeder kit from Princess Auto because it was on sale. For those of you who don't know, uh, I'm also into modding, modifying cars as well as inventing and engineering. So if you guys haven't checked out my second YouTube channel, it's called JD Mods. My girlfriend and I modify a lot of very cool cars. We have five cars between the two of us, and uh, my car makes 500 horsepower. Anyway, lots of cool stuff. Go check out that channel. Link in the description below. It's greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So what you're going to need for this video is of course the vacuum pump I just talked about, um, any, any type will do really. You also will need some type of ball valve, a little piece of rubber hose that's the same size as your barrel which I'm going to be using a piece of copper pipe. You'll also need a hose clamp to attach the two together, a little barb uh, nipple or union, whatever it's called, uh, that's the same size as the outlet of the vacuum pump. A little piece of hose that's again the same size as the barb you just chose. Also some electrical tape, various screwdrivers, tin foil, and of course our good friend the hot glue gun. So the first step is going to be to make the body of the gun. So as you can see I have a valve with a little adapter going to this rubber piece of pipe. It's a flexible hose of course. Now our goal here is to just insert the barb into the flexible piece of hose, maybe about so it goes about halfway down the hose. The easiest way I thought to do that was to attach it first to the valve, then with your barrel not attached, put your screwdriver in a spot where it won't go in contact with the valve. Um, the layout, I'm going to do it right about here. Then poke a hole with your smallest screwdriver just to get it in there. And then I'm going to keep expanding that hole with the bigger screwdrivers until the barb can fit inside. As you can see, I was able to make a hole large enough just to squish in that barb and then I added a little bit of hot glue to make sure that there is no air leaks. Now to finish the main body of the gun, I'm going to put my hose clamp right over top, match it up with the old one to make it look nice, and then just push on the barrel which is a piece of 3 8 copper piping for me, and then once it goes in far enough till it almost hits the barb, just give it a tighten up with your screwdriver. Now what we're going to do is connect the little barrel we just made to the pump. I'm going to be connecting it just on the side, of course making sure the valve is accessible and the barb is pointing away from the gun. There I have attached the barrel to the pump using some electrical tape and zip ties. And the last step is to take your um, little piece of rubber hose and first push it onto the vacuum pump as you can see I'm doing there the barbs are very tough to push on but you know it's going to be tight and then carefully as to not push it through the piece of rubber hose anymore just attach the vacuum line to the barb on the barrel and there is your completed vacuum pistol so quickly before the shooting test, I'm going to go over how this gun works and how to load it. So basically, we'll do how to load it first. Uh, what I'm using for ammo are these miniature little wine corks. So I shoved them in the barrel and pushed it so it's just in inside the tip of the barrel. And then the original plan was to use tin foil, but I found it didn't create a airtight enough seal. So what I have is these little mini Ziploc bags but saran wrap will also work and I just put them over the end and then with my electrical tape just wrapped it around a bunch of times so now you can see there's my cork and then there's the bag over top and the tape holding it all together nice and airtight now I also had to change out the valve on the back because the old valve wasn't airtight this one is so just note that the valve has to be airtight uh, anyway, so now basically how this works, let's move all that out of the way. Uh, basically how this works is when you pump the pump, unfortunately mine's not perfectly airtight, 
as you can see it has a bit of a leak but if you pump it fast enough you can get a vacuum going I think the leak is just caused uh, by this fitting if I had all the tools um, available to me I could easily drill and tap a pipe put in a pipe thread fitting um, and it'll be a hundred percent leak three leak free so maybe I'll do that in the future for you guys but basically the goal is to fill up the entire barrel and chamber here uh, with a vacuum I usually just as the more the merrier I'd probably do around 10 to 20 psi uh, vacuum and then basically the theory is is that when you open the ball valve at the back of the gun um, even though there's no pressure in the air around the gun what's going to happen is because it's a lower pressure inside the barrel all the high pressure air will rush inside the barrel and push and then the blow out the cork which will go shooting out the barrel uh, the results will be a lot better if you don't have any leaks but even though I have some leaks I did build it so I'm gonna try and do a shooting test for you guys here we go vacuum gun shooting test number one All right, there's about 20 um, PSI vacuum, and now I'm going to open the trigger. Nothing happened, so let's try again. Well, I really wish that worked better. Um, basically, I think the air leak uh, meant that the gun did not have enough pressure to blow this cork out. As you can see, it did move a little bit. Uh, it just needed a little more force in order to break the seal and pop out of the gun. Of course, this would be just as easy with an actual pump setup like your classic potato gun with a reservoir, ball valve, and barrel. This is just a slightly different technique to do it. Um, it is a common design, this vacuum gun principle. I just thought I would make my version of it, this little handheld pistol version. Um, I'll probably try it again in the future uh, with my tools at home so I can drill and tap into the pipe to make a perfect seal and maybe even uh, get a bigger air pump and different type of uh, bullet setup. But anyway, there's today's invention. Uh, it's nothing too, too exciting, but I wanted to upload something because I've been so busy with school and exams. Tonight was my only free night, really. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Even though it didn't work out the greatest, it worked a little bit but uh, definitely room for improvement so if nothing else at least it's potentially a cool prototype uh, i do have a few more ideas uh, for videos but if you guys have any ideas you want to see please let me know in the comments down below uh, and subscribe for all the cool videos to come so thanks for watching as always please like comment and subscribe